is now on and we are recording. Okay, so explanation of how to do the observer. Uh, I learned this um, from uh, my teacher, Muji. I call it the observer tool. I mean, it, it's just a way of expressing what it, what was happening. So, the way to do it is to, well, first of all, here's one thing, is to know that when something is, is meaningless, when something is not interesting, then it's, you know, with objects which are observed, which are meaningless or not interesting, there seems to be a lot of detachment. They seem to be very far away. So I'll give the example of like if I'm um, if I'm holding a my green water bottle, mm -hmm. uh, like you can all you're all observing the green water bottle, but none of you feel that the water bottle is you. Is that correct? No one thinks that just because they see a water bottle, they are the water bottle. Mm -hmm. It's 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 observed, and the observer is not the is in no way the water bottle mm. yeah and actually one of the things with a water bottle is it's a meaningless uninteresting object mm. yeah okay so so we're and also if something which is limited is being observed the observer cannot be must be less limited than the, the, lim the limit it is perceiving are, we, I mean, are you aware of what I'm saying? So me being the observer of the bottle, then I cannot be like the same limit. I must be a more limitless observation. Mm. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, okay. So the observer is larger than that which is being observed. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it must be in a more limitless experiencing that is observing it than the limit that is being observed. Mm. Okay. So we're all in agreement that, uh, that one isn't, just because one sees the object of the bottle, one isn't the object. One is clearly the observer of the object. Mm -hmm. The next thing is to, to, to look at, now, the, I mean, one phenomena is that, this is all very clear for us. The next thing is to know, we're sort of, we're sort of finding out what am I, or who am I, or what am I. You know, so it's, it's very clear that I'm not a water bottle that's being observed. The next thing to, to be aware of is thoughts. Mm -hmm. So thoughts are passing by. But if thoughts are passing, coming and going, or there's many thoughts all at the same time, mm -hmm. but they're changing. Even if there's lots and lots of thoughts which are constantly going, they're changing one after another. Like, let's say I put... Um, I have, like, let's say there's a water bottle being observed. One is the observer of the water bottle, one isn't the water bottle. Now, if suddenly this water bottle goes and then there's a phone, one is still not the phone, one is the observer of the phone. And even if something else comes up later on, that, and they're all changing and passing and altering, still the observer of all of them cannot be the things that are passing. Is that, is that mm -hmm. sort of clear? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, now, become aware of thoughts. You know, there may be not a few thoughts, or there may be one thought, then the next thought. But what, you know, so is one the thoughts? Or is there an experience of that which is observing, or witnessing, or perceiving the thoughts? Is there an awareness? Like this is very clear with the bottle. Now the thoughts. So. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing with uh, a bottle is it's uninteresting, it's a neutral object, you know. Now, th things t usually start to get more difficult when there are, there's great interest <coughs> or meaning <coughs> given to objects. Then they seem to be, it seems to be more difficult to go to the observer. But, okay, so is there a detached observer? Is there a witnessing of thoughts which is watching the thoughts? but is not the thoughts. So that's the, that's the thing. And this is, now, here's a, a beginner's mistake that a lot of beginners make, which is they try and use the head, the thinking, to find the observer. You can't, 
you can't construct an image of the observer or pretend there's one there because you're just using the thinking to think about it. So it's like a, it's like a relaxation. What's a, is there an observer observing the thoughts? Is one experiencing the observer or the witnesser that's observing the thoughts? And then, is one the observer or is one the thoughts? Now, when you get the experiencing of it properly, there'll be that you'll suddenly jump into this is without thinking there'll be an observing of the thoughts and one is very clear that the thoughts are happening but that one is not the thoughts there's like a detached observing and they lose their power when there's detached observing the thoughts start to lose their power because there's no you know like one isn't very interested in paying attention to a water bottle and so as one is the witnesser the detached witnessing of the thoughts, then they start to lose their power and one becomes more and more that which is the observer and less and less interested in that which is passing, these passing thoughts before the observer. That's one thing, you know, other things are like images. If there's suddenly an image of something, um, what's observing images? What observes memories? So again, a memory, you know, these things pass, come and go, but what's observing it? Even if there seem to be like a sensation in the body, or a feeling in the body. Like sometimes the fear may come into the body, or sometimes a pain may come into the body. Mm. Sometimes you know, one might have a stiff shoulder. But these things are coming and going. But what is it that is observing these things coming and going? Is the observer of the feelings, the changing feelings coming and going, is, is the observer the feeling, or is the observer the... Can one be the observer of the feeling, the detached observer of the feelings that come and go and change? And can one have the experience of that, you see? So, how, now, it's difficult to explain with words, but it's like, whatever is being, you know, if thought, usually when something is interesting, it seems to be more difficult to go into the observer. But, um, I find it easy if I ask the question, am I aware? Yes, am I aware? Uh, yes. yes. I get much easier into that space once I ask the question, am I aware? Yes. So with the mind, you know, you can you become aware. Yes. Of your thoughts, you become aware of sensations, you know. So for me, it's I much guess. easier if I get to ask, yeah, if I say, am I aware? So instead of yeah, getting into the observer straight away, I, must, mm. I find it much easier if I ask the question, it's almost like an easier way to get into that state. Yes, yeah, yeah, I, mm. whatever works, I, yeah. I'm aware. I mean, you know, intuitively, it's kind of obvious to me, I'd say if this case is helpful, that mm. one, you know, every, all the phenomena that's happening in this room is being observed, mm. you know, so... So it's like there, ha you know, something is witnessing everything that's happening in this room, in a limitless experiencing. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah. So if in any way I'm experiencing contraction, mm -hmm. and not being the the uh, um, the limitless witnessing that's witnessing all of all in a detached manner within this room, that means I'm in some way. Mm. Um, hooking into some kind of limitation. I'm not in the ultimate observing of that which is observing the room, you see. Mm. So something here is witnessing everything that's happening in this room. And it's not from a localized place. Mm. It's, oh. just a, it's just a, like a universal witnesser. Mm. And you, as you get, but it's not that, I mean, that just showing it from a different angle. But usually mm. when you start it, one is in a contracted form, you know, I am the thinking or I am the body, mm. you know, yeah. so then as you go to the witnessing of the thinking, then it mm. starts to loosen up, and then there's an awareness of a, of a deeper witnesser, you know, or there's a, suddenly there, there comes into experience a witnesser of the feelings, or a witnesser of the body, mm. you see, and a, and, a, and a greater and greater witnessing comes. As one, you know, initially as one becomes the witnesser, just stay in the witnesser, don't allow one to drop into I am the thinking, or I am the body, mm -hmm. or I am the thing, because these are like spiritual experiences. Suddenly there's a recognition of a witnessing of the thoughts. That's a, 
that's a that's a significant spiritual experience, mm -hmm. or uh, I'm an experience of the witnesser of the body, mm -hmm. or a witnesser of, the, of what's going on in the room. And then you know the practice is to stay in the witnessing field, or stay in the larger witnesser once you get the recognition of it. Okay, so we'll practice that for five minutes. <coughs>